These are Proc trams, and quite often, they hit a car. So this video is Proc Tram Crashes and Close Calls, number two. There are more than 1.2 million trips every day taken on the Proc trams, which for a city of one and a half million that Prague is, is unimaginable. Most of the trips end just fine and people get to their final destination uh, safe. But sometimes they end in a crash, usually caused by a car. And not always it ends with a crash. So first we want to show you some really close call situations. So driving in front of a tram when you shouldn't is really a bad idea. But even a worse idea is if you pass a tram from the left. That's just a bad, bad move and many people do it. And not only car drivers, even cyclists do it. And sometimes even a cop car. If there should be a driver that should be awarded the worst driver in Prague passing a tram from the left, it's this guy. That was really close. Almost ended up in the so-called tram sandwich. I'm no Martha Stewart, but let me teach you one short recipe here from Prague. You take a tram, you put a car in between it, and tram on top, and that's called the Prague Tram Sandwich. But let's be fair, it's not only the drivers causing these situations to trams, it's also pedestrians. And if you think these are nerve-wracking for the pedestrians, not really. They're nerve-wracking for the tram drivers. Watch the following. The drivers of the trams need to predict all the time what may happen. So in the following situation, the driver actually rings the bell just slightly because he sees two trams in the stop on the left and he's predicting that somebody may jump from the trams on the left side. Well, his prediction was right. Before we continue on with our show and you will see more tram crashes, we would like to say thank you to our long-term partner and the sponsor of this video, which is Surfshark. We cannot surf nor see sharks in the Czech Republic, but we can use this VPN service. It will allow you to place your computer virtually anywhere around the world. That is useful when, for example, you want to watch a show that is restricted to a certain country. Let's say it's restricted only to United States and you live in Czech Republic, well, you get Surfshark. It will attach to you an IP address that is located in United States and therefore you can watch any content you desire. If you get this service, you can use one account on multiple devices, on your devices, all of them and you get 24 seven support, which I just recently tested and they reply to you immediately and will solve any issue you have. You also have 30 day money back guarantee. So if you wanna try the service, you can click the link below the video. And if you use the code honest guide, you're gonna get 83% off and three months completely for free. And I see another tram is coming. So thank you Surfshark. And we're gonna go back to our crashes and close calls with Proc Trams. This baby weighs 42 tons and stopping it ain't easy. So please do not get in front of a tram, either if you're a pedestrian or a car. So here are some really bad situations that ended up in a crash. And that's all the crashes we got. The drivers are really behaving great in Prague and there's no tram crashes. I'm just kidding, we got more. Now 
Now watch this interesting situation, as the driver is signaling he will turn right, but the last minute he sees a free parking spot on the left. So he tries to pull in, not noticing there's a tram coming his way. By the way, not only trams take a long time to stop, even buses. So here's one crash we got of a bus. In the past year, a lot of people in Prague were complaining about the situation of transportation in Prague. Well, I hope today's video proved to you that the transport system is just fine. The trams are running fine. The subway is running just fine. It's usually the drivers that cause the problem to the mass transit in Prague. Speaking for the two of us, we are huge fans of the Prague tram system. We absolutely love taking the trams. They're the easiest, most reliable, always on time, unless there's a car crash uh, in front of the tram. So we highly recommend you to use them and massive hats down to all the tram drivers of Prague because they're doing a tough job and we really appreciate what they're doing for us and for the city, so thank you. That's it, we're the Frozen Honest Guides from Prague. And next episode will be an inside episode, Hansa. And we're going to warm up to the inside of a tram right now. And I'll see you next week. Ahoy. And I'm gonna teach you some uh, Czech words at the end. And they will be quite easy because I'm gonna teach you how to say 16, which is 16, which is also the longest line in Prague, but you wouldn't say 16, 16, but 16. And the most popular line of a tram in Prague is 22, which is not 22, which would be the word for 22, but 22. When you refer to a line, it's a bit different word.